If you're on a 9th gen Intel processor, is the new 13th gen worth upgrading to? I've been gaming with an i7-9700K for the last 4 years and it's been rock solid. I've overclocked it to 5GHz on all cores and it doesn't feel slow at all. But with Intel's latest processors touting big performance gains, I simply couldn't resist upgrading. Out of Intel's latest lineup, I decided to go with the 13600K. Intel's latest i5 packs a whopping 14 cores and 20 threads thanks to its hybrid architecture. It can also boost up to 5.1 GHz right out of the box. I'm pairing the i5 with a Gigabyte Z690i Lite motherboard. This is a well-built budget ITX board that is identical to the more premium Ultra and Ultra Plus variants except that it has a PCIe 3.0 slot instead of a 5.0 slot. For just $150, this board definitely has the best value out of the LGA 1700 ITX boards. However, there is one issue with this ITX board design and that's the lack of space around the CPU due to the built up heat sinks and NVMe slots. It's a super tight fit for my NZXT Kraken pump block and it took me a while to get it all put together. Let's take a look at a few benchmarks and see if the effort was worth it. The results are pretty solid. We're seeing anywhere from 15 to 31% higher minimum frame rates on the CPU. Note that this translates to overall frame rate only in non-GPU bound cases. So for games like Modern Warfare 2 and Cyberpunk, the realistic improvement will be a bit less. Keep in mind that the 13600K is being paired with suboptimal DDR4 RAM. Another factor to consider is that the 13600K wasn't overclocked at all in these benchmarks which means there's likely a few more percentage points of performance left on the table. Overall, I highly recommend the 13600K as part of an upgrade or a new build. You're getting almost 12900K performance for nearly half the cost. As of recording this video, the 13600K is on sale for $300 on Amazon. For ITX form factor builds, the 13600K and Gigabyte Z690i is a great value combo. However, if you're willing to wait another 6 months, AMD should be launching their Zen 4 vCache processors, which will likely dominate in gaming performance. I'll be making a guide on which CPUs to buy based on your budget and desired upgrade frequency, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. That's all for this video, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like or dislike this video, and tell me what I did right or wrong in the comments below. See you next time.